What's going on boys? Joy-Con James here and I hope you're all doing well. Now today, as you've seen by the title and thumbnail, this is a kind of an interesting topic, but before I get into it, let me just give you a bit of backstory. So Satoru Iwata, as we all know, or some of you may not know, I guess, uh, he was the ex-president of Nintendo and he was alongside Reggie and Miyamoto, one of the big three of Nintendo back in the day. All the E3s, the little directs, they all used to have them in it. And that kind of energy of that golden trio is kind of gone now uh, in current Nintendo, unfortunately. That's the one thing I miss, the whole, like, I don't know, the, the humour side of Nintendo. I know they're appealing to an older demographic now with the Switch, as opposed to the Wii U's, you know, younger audience. Yeah. And it comes with two free games. Hot buttered popcorn, that's a deal. Yeah. <laughs> but... I still kind of miss the interaction you had, like, no, what president of a company could you say that you, like, love? Like, everyone loved Reggie, like, you know, people still love Reggie. My you body, ready, Reggie? my body is ready. Forget about it, I'm just going home. Oh, great, Bill, you're fired. Do you have any skills? <laughs> Doug Bowser is the new president of America now. Like, I don't think I've seen Doug Bowser like since his first reveal was president a couple of years ago he just hasn't appeared anywhere so i kind of miss that connection you had with your like you know the people at the top end of nintendo and satoru iwata was one of these guys in fact he worked with a lot of people sakurai uh, miyamoto on developing some of the biggest games that are still around today games like earthbound smash brothers kirby just wouldn't be existing in their current state if it wasn't for iwata's help the reason why I bring this up is because Satoru Iwata loved working on games that he didn't think were going to do very well or he wanted to help other people out with and one of those games was Earthbound or Mother depending on where you're from. When he finished work on Earthbound himself along with the development team received a really really cool gift. A bomber jacket made for the development team and Satoru Iwata upon completion of working on Earthbound 2 or Mother 2 depending on where you're from again. This jacket is extremely rare as it was only given out to members of the development team and Mr. Iwata himself. And Mr. Iwata was known to have treasured this jacket immensely. It was one of his most prized possessions according to sources, his friends and his family. So this jacket is a big deal. And that's why it's a massive deal that this jacket is now being auctioned nearly four years after his death. And this is ridiculous. The jacket itself is very, very gorgeous, very reminiscent of the, uh, well, the Top Gun jacket I'm wearing now, the Tiger one. Uh, it's a very nice design, Japanese style, really, really cool, very beautiful. And it is, unfortunately, uh, very expensive, which is, to be fair, considering it is the one that Mr. Iwata wore. Just to clarify, there's, there's a few of them out there from the, the, you know, owned by the development team, but the one specifically going on sale is the one that Mr. Iwata wore and treasured immensely, so... It's obviously going to be quite pricey, and the starting bid is at 88,000 yen, which in dollars is about $843, so it's quite a lot for a jacket, but considering this is the one worn by Mr. Iwata himself, kind of understandable why it's so pricey, but at the end of the day, I guess, you know, if they're going to sell something of his that was, a, you know, one of his prized collections, you've got to make it at least a worthy price, otherwise it's kind of an insult to his memory, so... I guess, I don't know, I'm interested to keep up with this story. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on whether the jacket sells. I'm, I'm sure it will probably sell for more than 88,000 yen. If that's like a starting bid, then I'm sure it'll probably end up reaching the hundreds of thousands of yen. There's someone probably devoted enough to Mr. Iwata to buy it. Uh, if anyone's got 88,000 yen, feel free to lend it to me and I'll get in the bidding war. Uh, I'd love to own that jacket. Obviously, I just don't have $843, but it would be cool if we was able to somehow get our hands on it. I mean, we've done, we've done more impossible things in the past here on this channel, so I'm sure we could get it if we tried. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for tuning in, boys, and make sure to have yourselves, as usual, a damn good one.